so time for the what's new in Suite 2024 presentation. Just before showing you the uh, 2024 update, I wanted to have a quick look at the five previous years of SWOOD. So between 2019 and 2023. So about the uh, SWOOD 2019, we create two main features of so the panel insertion features, the so one currently used and also start to create some uh, shape recognition operation, automatic shape recognition uh, operation in the CAM. Then in 2020, we create the panel management manager, so the possibility to manage the legacy and also some import path. Uh, we also create the uh, simulation with material removal to check if a program is well uh, done on SWOOTCAM. Uh, then we also create uh, an ecosystem of uh, SWOOTCAM by creating the SWOOTCAM copy and the tool synchro and also create um, or update a new complete uh, data report. Then in 2021, we update the SWOOT banking session. Uh, we also create more um, operation based, always based on shape recognition, automatic operation based on shape recognition, and also update the nesting by creating the feature to uh, the possibility to uh, have a matching, a grain matching between the front, uh, the front panel, for example. Then in 2022, we update again the suit box and we also um, still create a new operation based on shape recognition. Also have a big update in suit nesting to optimize the holding, especially for the small part. And also update the report by adding the possibility to export to new documents, so the 2D drawings, automatic 2D drawings, and also the possibility to export in DXF. Then last year, we update especially the library of Swoot Design by creating two other library, the panel process library, and also the favorite library. We create uh, also more operation, automatic operation, uh, especially uh, last year um, to manage the waste, the offcut of, uh, of a nesting project, and not only a nesting project, actually, at least all the waste and offcut and also update the, uh, the report by create two uh, more uh, document and also create Swoot Connect to connect Swoot with other uh, platform and main actor in the woodworking industry. So that's good for the uh, last five years of the uh, uh, Swoot uh, updates. Uh, as you can see, we, uh, we're trying to, to update the, the, the software with more and more features. Uh, so uh, I hope this year it will be the same. So let's go for uh, the Suite 2024 uh, updates. So that's the design part. We will see new panel features, the, some Suite box improvement, and also user experience improvement. About the CAM, we will see again new automatic operation, a new free, uh, free finishing, and also an update of the positioning. We, in the nesting part, we create a new type of nesting, improve the material management, and also improve the user experience. In the report, we create a new report, some new documents, and new warnings. So, but the design first. Uh, we will see the panel cut features, then the panel joins features, the suitbox evaluate panel thickness, the Swoopbox Offset Management, the link in the Swoopbox message, the script improvement, if an easy save in the library, library file research, and Swoop Center interface. So I start with the panel code features. So with this panel code features, we're trying to develop a feature to help you to design more complex projects. So not just only a square um, a corner management features. We wanted to create features to to help you to design more uh, complex project with. So here in this 
um, in this project, for example, you just have to put some panel in any angle, any position. And if there is an, an interference between two uh, panel, so two bodies, you have a possibility to select the two faces of these two bodies and of these two parts. And automatically, we can directly cut it. And after we have multiple possibility to uh, change this uh, this angle, either in meter cut or um, the the first selection, cover the second or the opposite. Um, so it offer a lot of different possibilities. Um, as I said, just place the panel. Okay, we don't care about the uh, dimension. After you just have to select two reference and automatically we we cut uh, the panel according to this reference. So to create some reshapes on desk, desk or any complex project with multiple panel, it can be very, very uh, easy. And as you can see here now, we not only cut two panel, we can just cut one panel by select uh, the first reference and a second uh, to cut. And then, okay, we can directly cut a panel according to another one. So just to sum up, here as you can see, with two selections, okay, first selection and another face selection, we have four possibilities. The first one is a mitre cut. The second one is, okay, the first selection cover the second, um, or the opposite, second cover the first, or the possibility to cut just one, okay? And you have also um, more more parameter to, for example, set some offset between two faces, for example. Okay, so let's continue with the same kind of features uh, by uh, with the panel joints features. This panel joints features is divided in uh, two parts, so two new assembly, um, an half joints and an tunnel and martyrs. So it's quite the same. If two panels have uh, some interference, you have the possibility to select these two panels, to select two faces. And once you select these two uh, faces, you have different uh, possibilities. So either um, do the classical half joints or an undercut one with some parameter offset and some position offset. So it's up to you. You, uh, you have also possibilities to select multiple interference to have uh, to create some hive joints so as you can see and for the people who already do something like that with just only solid words it can be painful to do so with so now it will be very easy then uh, we do the same with the tunnel and mortise if two panels have some interference you can select two faces and um, by just two two click you can create multiple tunnel and mortise to multiple, uh, let's say, CNC tenon and martyrs, because as you may know, it's, it was already possible to do some tenon and martyrs with your connector library, but to do uh, the same thing with some uh, overcut or uh, for the CNC, it can be very also painful with, uh, with only SOLIDWORKS or with only the, the, the connector library. So that's why we, we create the, these features. And these features also embed some different parameters to set the offset, the quantity, the length of this uh, tunnel and mortise, and also the, the position. And also, for sure, the tool diameter used in the CNC. Then, um, let's go now for the Swoodbox improvement. So first, the first Swoodbox improvement uh, is the Suitbox evalu Evaluate Panel Thicknesses. As you may know, uh, with the Suitbox, the current Suitbox, it was possible to to manage, to know the width, the depth, and the height of the volume where the Suitbox is insert. But now, with Suit 2024, it will be possible to, to manage the thickness of the panel where the Suitbox is applied. So by using this alias in the script, you will be able to have different behavior uh, in your um, in your suitbox so to manage the feet, for example, 
some handle i think it can be very useful and also here as you can see uh with the front it's an other way of thinking instead of um, managing the overlay distance you will manage just only the gap and we don't care about the the, the panel thickness automatically uh, the, the the front will be update according to these new panel thicknesses so now if we just change the pa the material on a wall project all the suit box will be updated according to this new material so it, it offer again more and more um, possibilities so yeah, as you can see by just a single drag and drop I change everything about the the drawer about the the front etc everything is update then continue let's continue with the uh, suit box offset management uh, management so as you can see here um, by just drag and drop this specific uh, suit box uh, we can see on the parameter we already also detect all the panel thicknesses uh, thicknesses and we also offer in new uh, new variable to manage the offsets so here I'm setting all the offsets so instead of instead of doing it with some uh, plane you can directly use the suit box in the uh, box section and have different uh, different behavior if you want because these features are in read only okay as you can see we can just read it in the gaps uh, category we also add three variable to position the origin of this wood box so in x y and z here as you can see we can move the wood box directly without mo moving the, the volume where it's detected yeah, in either in positive or in negative so again it offer new possibility and if I just want to sum a bit uh, this big improvement on the suit box we um, we add a more a lot on more uh, viable a read only viable to analyze the context where the suit box is inserted and also create three over uh, viable to manage the position of the suit box for example so let's continue a bit with the suit box with a link in the suit box message so here I'm just going to create a new suit box and on this uh, suit box in the suit box script I want to create a message with the suit website and directly when I'm uh, when I will insert this suit box you will have access to this URL you visit to this um, website address and directly here on the suit box interface you have access to to your internet browser so you will um, one of the possibilities to for example to set all the hardware documentation based on an internet website and have access directly from the suit box that's uh, an example of use then we also improve the script on this script we put uh, two main um, two main improvements. The first one is about the minimum and maximum, so that allows to output the maximum or minimum from uh, from two value. So here, for example, I have two uh, variable distance, so a and b. And if I want to know the maximum or the minimum, I can just uh, use the new word and directly have in the distance c the result of this new, uh, two word. Then we also create new uh, um, new world about the upper and lower round. So that's all to output the lower floor and upper sale rounded value of a variable. So here, for example, in, in the variable uh, f, if I use the floor, I have uh, the, uh, the lower round value. And if I, have, uh, if I use sale, I have the upper rounded value with the number of decimal you you set then we create also a new features um, so with the easy save in the library so to save it easily in the library you can for example a project a frame you just have to drag and drop the assembly on the library and automatically here yeah, would copy 
all the file and change all the reference. So automatically, you just have to, to save a new project, to save something you, you want to reuse on the library. You just have to drag and drop the things on the library. So that's a very easy to do. And automatically, again, would copy all the reference and change all the, uh, copy all the file and change the, uh, all the reference. It's the same way of copying uh, something from the library, but here it's the opposite, so we save it on the library with a copy. Then uh, we also improve the library file search. So we know for the big library, it was quite it was quite long to research, so some seconds to have a result. So now with this new type of search, uh, it's up to uh, four times quicker. So you have the possibility to have two uh, results about the search, either in folder or in list, the fast view, fast list view, and you have the option directly on the settings of Offswood. And then just to finish. Uh, the Suite Center interface improvement. So here, uh, in this Suite Center interface, we, last year we did this improvement for the um, Suite Box uh, viable management. And a lot of you um, say to us, okay, it, it was very good, but please do it, do the same for Suite Center. So your 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 wish is exalted. We, we do the, the same this year for uh, for Swoot Center, so you 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 have a possibility to research a parameter, to filter this parameter, and also uh, set all the category by folder, rename a whole category by just a few clicks. So yeah, to create new Swootbox to manage a Swoot Center model, it's quite uh, easier now. So that's good for Swoot Design. Uh, do not hesitate to let us know in the chat, in the comment. Um, which new features can be uh, very useful for you. Well, I hope uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, so let's go for the Swootcam uh, uh, improvement. So about Swootcam, we we'll see the new uh, 3D finishing, then the CNC and render management, the squaring single operation, the auto climax with cutter, the program origin strategy. So first about the new 3D finishing features. This new 3D finishing is is quite a, a beta features. Okay, so everyone has, has access to this new beta features. It's the start of a big project for Swootcam, and on these features we create our algorithm and our interface. So everything is made from um, the Efficat developer. And in this 3D uh, finishing features, we create here some uh, possibility to just select the, the surface where we want to, to create this 3D finishing. So in the uh, interface of programmation, you just have to select the, the face to know, okay, I want to, to, to mill, let's say, just this face. We also add multiple possibilities to, for example, set the uh, transition path between two steps, two paths, um, which kind of yeah transition do you want? If you want some uh, yeah uh, classical one or just a up, or just a uh, go in Z security or not, etc. So we set multiple options. We also uh, set so um, the possibility to add or remove some area. So here you have access to all the sketches, all the surface, all the plane, or everything you you use in uh, the design of this part. You have access directly here, and you have a possibility to set okay this surface, these sketches. I want it uh, just. I just want to mill this one, or I want to avoid this area. This area. This. Uh, um, this surface directly on the programmation interface and then we also add the possibility to protect some surface by just select this uh, surfaces you can set okay this surface must be protect so 
Swoodcam automatically jump the trajectory, jump uh, the milling path uh, around this uh, this protected surface. Here, for example, if I select the triangle, automatically, as you can see, it uh, it jump all the all the milling path. Okay, so let's move on to a new um, a new possibility with Sootcam with the CNC edge bender uh, management. So with this uh, with these features, as you may know, on Swoot Design, it was possible to uh, manage the uh, the edge bend with all the information about the shape, about the uh, edge bend order, about the color, about the reference, about everything. And now it's possible to take this information, especially for the uh, edge bender aggregate embedded on CNC, to set okay, I want uh, all the uh, edge bender aggregate at the start or at the end, have uh, a view of uh, all the edge bend order, and directly once you uncut it for wood warp or be solid, for the moment just only for those two ones, have directly access for sure for all the uh, for all the old let's say operation so control pocket drill sewing etc and all the new operations so a new macro especially for the for the edge band uh, aggregate with a control bluing gluing flush trimming and scrapping so for wood up uh, it's a customer macro so you will be able to customize uh, your own uh, operation and for B solid we uncut the profile uh, directly on on B solid so let's see another new operation with a squaring cycle operation so here for example I'm just going to create a new pocket and this pure pocket I want to uh, to mill it with a big tool and then we know when we mill it with a big tool in the corner, it remains some material. We already create an operation to with a smaller tool to just uh, mill, mill as possible this remain material. But here now, with an engraving cutter, we add the possibility to just finish the angle. So that's why the operation is uh, is named finish angle because it's possible to um, to finish perfectly the angle to square the the the, the angle perfectly so as you can see here we just uh, mill as possible with a big tool then um, we with a simulation with material removal we can see okay it remains some material with a smaller tool we just let's say try to finish as possible the, the angle and for the corner where it remain it still remain some um, some uh, material we can use the finish angle operation with an engraving cutter to perfectly again finish finish all the corner all the angle. So we have two possibilities either for the pocket or for the outer contour. And if, for example, I up, I just launch this video. As you can see, for the pocket, you have the possibility to use the engraving cutter. And for the outer contour, you have two possibilities, either uh, with an engraving cutter, with the same kind of uh, meaning, uh, meaning path, or with a saw to just finish again uh, the outer contour. So let's go to the auto climax with cutter. Again, as you may know, we, it was already possible to insert for sure some climax and to do this automatically do this climax with a saw at now and we know it was quite uh, difficult to do a climax for example in the middle of a panel with a saw and we know it's possible to do it with a specific cutter so we create uh, a new operation so with a climax cutter to automatically detect this uh, climax and encode the right milling path for this uh, climax. So it was possible to do it before manually and now it's automatic. 
Then we also improve uh, program origin strategies. So here, uh, this origin strategy, uh, uh, sorry, strategy is based on shape recognition. So it was possible to minimize the panel width. And now it's possible to set, okay, the longest groove must be downward or upward. So especially for the vertical CNC or the CNC with clumps, it can be very, very useful to avoid the, 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 groove, the groove directly on the clumps, for example. So that's good for us with cam. Again, didn't hesitate to let us know uh, which, um, which new features can be very useful for you. Uh, so hope uh, hope you again you enjoy it and let's and let's move on to uh, swood nesting. So about swood nesting, first we see a new type of nesting with a nesting for multiple corners. Then we'll go another option to in your pad green direction. Then we'll see some board specific machining. Um, uh, sorry, board specific machining strategy. Then we see the nesting program not rubbing once uh, create. So first about a new type of nesting with a nesting from multiple corner. So last uh, two years ago, we create a new uh, possibility to optimize the, the holding, especially for the small part in the nesting. And this year in this holding strategy, we have the possibility to, to set, I want a four corner nesting. This four corner nesting, instead of doing um, nest all the part from one corner, we just insert the biggest part on one corner, then the second biggest part on the second corner, then third corner, etc., etc., and automatically all the smaller parts are uh, in the center of the on the board. So it optimized the meaning, especially for the small part. Uh, the holding of uh, of a small part, and you still have access to all the other holding strategy to avoid the small part on the edge, also uh, the um, the stadium contour that optimizes also the, the holding of small part and also some bridges, etc. So just uh, to sum this one. Um, as you can see, you can see the difference between the classical nesting and the nesting from four corners. The second part of the four corner nesting, as you can see, the small part are automatically on uh, in the middle of the of the nesting sheet. Then let's see another option to ignore the pad grain direction uh, in a nesting project. So for example, for the structural panels or the smaller panels, you don't care about the grain direction and you want to uh, nest it uh, in any angle. So it's possible now to set, uh, okay, for this panel, we don't care about the grain direction. Uh, and as you can see, uh, in the example, it will nest this uh, panel with a different angle um, as another kind of nesting. And to set this information, you have two possibilities, either in the Swood nesting interface, in the part for nesting folder, or uh, from a custom properties. Then uh, let's see another uh, new features, new possibility, new option, let's say, with a board specific machining strategy. So, at the insertion, it was possible to set some specific strategy according to different post processor. And now it's also possible to set it according to the material, according to the, uh, to the board library. To set, okay, for this board, I want a specific machining insertion. So it's possible to set, okay, for a specific material, I want to use a specific tool, a specific number of passes or, or any other option embedded on the, on the CAM program. And to finish about the nesting, we also add the possibility to um, to not rebuild uh, a nesting project. So this 
features allow you to validate quick, uh, quickly a nesting project because if you are used to encode all the nesting program with uh, SWOOD report, with the SWOOD report, SWOOD rebuild every program. So we don't need to rebuild the program when we just validate the nesting. So here, instead of doing twice a rebuild, you have now the possibility to just doing once. And you have the possibility, you have access to this option directly on the nesting uh, option. So that's good for SWOOD nesting. Again, do not hesitate to, to, so please let us know on the, on the chat section and comment section which, um, features do you prefer the most. And let's jump to the last section, to the report section with the system report, then the cutting pattern, then, uh, to finish the error messages. So about the system report, it's a new way of creating, of generating a report. So now you have access directly to this report in the SWOOT design option. That seems, that means that everyone have access to this, uh, data report. It will, uh, we will update this report according to the SWOOT update. Okay. We're going along the year with some SP or some, uh, big, um, big release. You have access to new features on this report and this report is totally user configurable. So you have access to all the data directly here in the SolidWorks interface. You have access to this uh, system report. You have access to the report history of the report you already generate. And then you can navigate in the data exported uh, from SWOOD. Okay about the here, for example, all the assemblies, also all the panels with all the different information. So you have access to all the data we export from SWOOD. And you also, you have access to create new view. For example, if for example, here I want a view of, of a small part, I can set an overview, set some filter. Okay. Um, I want the part, uh, about the length and the width lower than 150. Okay. That's good. I create this two. Uh, wool and directly if I validate, I have access to this view. And here, for example, I already set it for the edge band. For example, if you want to see uh, only the green panels, uh, only, uh, I don't know, a panel with a specificity and a specific custom property, it will be possible to do it and to save this view for another project, for example. And that's the same for the column. If you want to see a specific information, you have access again to all the column, all the data and then create your own, uh, your own view and export this view in CSV, for example. So for the stock list, it can be very useful to uh, create your own, uh, CSV export for the, um, for the beam saw machine. And you can set multiple filter view for this export, etc. And that's the same for the hardware, for the edge band, for the uh, program list, for the tool list etc etc every information we export from swood you will have access to this uh data view report let's say and a summary page of course and that's the same for any kind of report any report already already generate so then let's jump to uh to the same kind of report with another document a document with a cutting pattern with this cutting pattern, it's also embedded on the, st uh, on the system report. You have access here. So we update the estimation board we already create. You have access to different board material and also here to all the horizontal and vertical cut. So you have access to this interface where you can see all the cut and also have the possibility to export this, the beam saw optimization for in PDF. So for the customer who don't have any board estimation software, you have access to, to this one. And also with some parameter, of course, with uh, based on the board library and uh, with some parameter about the saw thickness, the cutting offset, etc. And to finish, you also, um, uh, we also set some option about the message. So the possibility first to show the message to show the warning 
message and or error message during the report generation. So to avoid um, to see this message at the end of the report generation, you can just cancel it during uh, cancel the report generation because you have some uh, important warning message. So that's a possibility. And one of these message uh, is, for example, an uh, empty program, an empty program. So if you want to to have an error message, if you have empty program, you can set this option in the report. Uh, in the program option. So that's good for the report. Also, hope it's a new way of uh, of report. So hope it was uh, helpful uh, for you. Again, do not hesitate to let us know which uh, features do you prefer the most for this uh, this report. So that's good for the Suite 2024 version. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope it's a good uh, new update of Swood. I think for me it's a, it's a good update, uh, especially in the in the design with the panel uh, cut features, with the possibility to create more and more complex projects. Uh, yeah, you just have to place uh, any uh, any angle of your panel and then cut it perfectly. Same for the cam with the new possibility to create um, some edge bender aggregate operation or also have some perfect uh, perfect uh, angle of your pocket and also for sure the 3D machining, the 3D finishing. Uh, so this uh, the start of a big project for Swoodcam. And then with, uh, with the report, so this new system report, so a new way of uh, generating a, free, of, uh, a report with Swood. Of course, user configurable, so I think it, it can be very useful for you. So hope you enjoyed this uh, this presentation. Um, so now we are waiting for your feedback, for your question directly on the chat, on the chat or in the comment. Do not hesitate to let us know, um, yeah, which uh, updates yeah, do you prefer the most? And uh, yeah, thank you for attending this uh, this meeting and. Uh, yeah, we are waiting for your feedback.